Hello and welcome back to another Walking Dead video and today I'll be talking about the entirety of the Walking Dead universe and ranking all six shows as of now from worst to best. That is Fear, The Walking Dead, World Beyond, Tales, Dead City and Daryl Dixon. And because some of these shows are still ongoing, this list is subject to change in the future. So everyone sit down, get comfy and let's dive right into this with number six, the worst one, Tales of the Walking Dead. And this show looks like it's actually been cancelled silently. Like we're getting no hint at a season two. And they're now talking about a different show. And that really sucks because it means Tales has no chance to improve. We have six episodes for Tales. And only one of them provides what we actually wanted. Everyone was going to Tales really wanting this what if type of show. Or a show which brings back beloved characters and we get to see them one more time in an origin story for them. That's what we wanted for Tales but we didn't get that. Instead we got this show which introduced ghosts and Groundhog Day and just broke the lore of the Walking Dead universe. The one episode we actually got this origin story for a character was for Alpha but it rewrote episode 2 of season 10 and it just broke the law. This show was just very badly written, very badly made, and it just deserves to be at the bottom of this list. Moving up to number five is The Walking Dead World Beyond, and this was a mini series of only two seasons. The problem with this is that the cast isn't very good. Season one is about this road trip across America with these characters, these all children, 10 years into the apocalypse, trying to head from the Midwest all the way to New York State. And it is just terrible. The acting's bad. The characters are dislikable. Iris is one of the most dislikable characters in the Walking Dead universe for me. And she is just so annoying. The show only gets good in its back half of season two when they introduce Jadis. And you get a lot of CRM stuff. And this has some really smart villains. Jadis is a great villain in the back half. However, the point of the show was to set up the Rick movies. And now the Rick movies are cancelled. This show became pointless. And what did we get? We got a season of just grinding our teeth. Unable to watch because these characters are so annoying. And a second season which was meh in the back half. And by the time the final episode it just didn't feel like a series finale. This had so much promise, but failed at almost every single point, other than making Jadis a likeable character, which was she was completely dislikable in The Walking Dead. Number four for me is Dead City, and the reason why it's just so low for me is because this show is just pointless. Maggie and Negan's story was done at the end of The Walking Dead. Their arcs were completed, and I really liked where they left off the characters. However, Dead City just reboots their characters to the start of Season 11 again, and it's just pointless. The show looks cheap at times. I like the intro, but I dislike the way the show looks. It's too dark, the neon lights just annoy me. And for a Maggie and Negan show, Maggie has no impact on the story. After Season 1... I feel like she shouldn't be in season two. Maggie is really underused and really annoys me and she's almost villainous in this season. Negan is amazing but I feel like they're just retconning Negan and Maggie way too much just so this show can exist. I also just disliked the retconning of the saviors and Negan's backstory to have the crow ad now exist and be this major member of the saviors which we never saw him in the walking dead and we saw that he was around during the war with the kingdom why did ezekiel not mention him this show just provides way too many questions because it's just rewriting all this lore around negan and the saviors it just really annoys me as a walking dead fan so let's move on to number three and it has to be fear the walking dead and the whole reason why this is so high even though it might be controversial is because of season one two three and six those seasons are just must watch tv and especially one two and three they're just absolutely perfect the issue with fear is that this show is very inconsistent as i just said one two three and six are absolutely amazing and must watch however you get seasons like five seven and eight which are absolute trash and some of the worst tv we've ever had but we got season four which is a mixed bag where the first half is great and the back half is terrible this show is a very much a mixed bag and it could easily go at the bottom of this list 
However, we got to count the earlier seasons. We can't just look at how fear ended up and judge it from that. We have to judge the entire show. And I just personally love parts of fear. And I really love some of the characters. This show has some of the best writing at times. It just also has some of the worst. And the whole reason it's above Dead City is because I feel like fear actually had a purpose to exist. It was a sister show and then eventually became a stupid spin-off. But Dead City is about characters which I felt just need to be put to rest. They had their time, the story was done, and it was perfectly done. That's why Dead City is below. But maybe in the future, Dead City might take this third spot. But let's move up to number two. It has to be Daryl Dixon. This show is what Dead City should have been. It perfectly uses the character and changes them in what feels organic. They're not resetting Daryl. They're pushing his character further forwards from where he set off at the end of season 11 of The Walking Dead. The story is amazing about this kind of globe trotting situation. Daryl's now stuck in France. He wants to get back home. But now he's been pulled into this whole situation. And now he has to take this child and take him to Paris and the north of France. It is amazing. It might be very similar to The Last of Us, but it is a trope and the trope works in this show. We have some amazing side characters like Isabelle, Laurent, and Daryl is just absolutely fantastic. This is his time to shine. In The Walking Dead, he was very much underused in the last two seasons. But in this show, we get to see Daryl's slightly funny side, his caring side, and we get to have more about Daryl's past unraveled to us. This show is just absolutely perfect and easily takes this number two spot. But moving on to number one, and no surprise, The Walking Dead. This show was the show you had to watch in the early 2010s. You had to be on The Walking Dead. It was the talk of TV. Like You'd be like, Walking Dead, Walking Dead, Walking Dead. Those first six seasons are just absolutely perfect. It had the drama, the action, the scares. However, we have to talk about seven and eight, which were the downsides of The Walking Dead. Just turned into a random action show, not this character drama show. And then it found it again with season 9 being this absolutely amazing season. And then it just tapers out again. The Walking Dead is this weird quality roller coaster. But majority of the time, this show is a must watch. It has some of the best acting on TV. Like You have actors like Andrew Lincoln, Norman Reedus, Melissa McBride. There are some absolutely amazing actors on this show. And that really carries you through the down parts of this show and there's a reason why this is number one this show was so good it's got five good on six spin-offs and that is it for me today so please tell me down below do you agree with my list or do you disagree and if you disagree what are your rankings for all the shows in the walking dead universe so goodbye peace out and i'll talk to you later